Episode 17. Questions and answers are based on the book Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Topic, smoking. Choose the best answer. What are the steps in smoking that contribute to the preservation of smoked fish? A. Drying, salting, heat treatment, and smoke deposition. B. Freezing, salting, and drying. C. Freezing and heat treatment. D. Thawing, salting, and smoke deposition. What are the steps in smoking that contribute to the preservation of smoked fish? A. Drying, salting, heat treatment, and smoke deposition. What is the purpose of salting in the smoking process? A. To kill microorganisms and to increase the salt content to preserve the fish. B. To make the flesh firm and easy to handle and to improve the flavor and appearance of the smoked product. C. To remove excess moisture. D. To kill microorganisms and to remove excess moisture. What is the purpose of salting in the smoking process? B. To make the flesh firm and easy to handle and to improve the flavor and appearance of the smoked product. How does heat treatment contribute to the preservation of smoked fish? A. By enhancing the smoky flavor. B. By making the flesh firm and less susceptible to autolysis. C. By preventing the deposition of chemicals from burning wood. D. By adding moisture to the fish. How does heat treatment contribute to the preservation of smoked fish? B. By making the flesh firm and less susceptible to autolysis. What is smoke deposition in the smoking process? A. The process of removing smoke from the fish. B. The deposition of chemicals produced from burning wood on the fish. C. The drying process of the fish. D. The process of adding flavorings to the fish. What is smoke deposition in the smoking process? B. The deposition of chemicals produced from burning wood on the fish. Which of the following components are found in wood smoke? A. Limonene and xanthine. B. Phenols and hydrocarbons. C. Methyl anthranilate and triphenylmethane. D. Cinamaldehyde and azo. Which of the following components are found in wood smoke? B. Phenols and hydrocarbons. What is the main reason smoke has antioxidant properties? A. The presence of high boiling point phenols. B. The presence of carbon dioxide. C. The deposition of carboxylic acids. D. The drying effect on the fish. What is the main reason smoke has antioxidant properties? A. The presence of high boiling point phenols. Evaporation of water occurs. What? Smoke deposition. A. Simultaneously with. B. Before. C. After. D. Next to. Evaporation of water occurs. Smoke deposition. A. Simultaneously with. Evaporation of water occurs simultaneously with smoke deposition. Which of the following statements is false? A. The preservation of smoked fish cannot depend solely on the salting process due to the low salt content in the product. B. The heat generated during smoking contributes to the bactericidal effect of smoking. C. 
The amount of moisture removed from the fish depends upon the temperature of the smokehouse and the length of smoking time. D. Heat treatment and pre-cooking help make the fish flesh soft. Which of the following statements is false? D. Heat treatment and pre-cooking help make the fish flesh soft. How does the moisture content of smoked fish change with longer smoking time? A. It increases. B. It decreases. C. It remains the same. D. It depends on the temperature of the smokehouse. How does the moisture content of smoked fish change with longer smoking time? B. It decreases. How much smoke constituents can smoked seafood contain per 100 grams tissue? A. Approximately 0 0.5 gram. B. Approximately 1.5 grams. C. Approximately 2 grams. D. Approximately 2.5 grams. How much smoke constituents can smoked seafood contain per 100 gram tissue? A. Approximately 0 0.5 gram. Which type of wood is commonly recommended for generating smoke in smoking processes? A. Softwood. B. Resinous wood. C. Hardwood. D. Sawdust. Which type of wood is commonly recommended for generating smoke in smoking processes? C. Hardwood. Why is softwood not recommended for smoking purposes? A. It produces a more intense smoky flavor. B. It burns more easily. C. It imparts acrid flavors and odors in the smoked products. D. It is difficult to ignite. Why is softwood not recommended for smoking purposes? C. It imparts acrid flavors and odors in the smoked products. How does temperature affect the smoking process? A. It increases smoke absorption. B. It decreases smoke absorption. C. It has no effect in smoke absorption. D. It affects the rate of drying and chemical reactions between smoke components and the product. How does temperature affect the smoking process? D. It affects the rate of drying and chemical reactions between smoke components and the product. What is the recommended relative humidity for smoking? A. 30%. B. 60%. C. 80%. D. 100%. What is the recommended relative humidity for smoking? B. 60%. How does high relative humidity affect smoke absorption and drying? A. It increases smoke absorption and drying. B. It decreases smoke absorption and drying. C. It only affects smoke absorption. D. It only affects drying. How does high relative humidity affect smoke absorption and drying? A. It increases smoke absorption and drying. How does smoke velocity influence smoke absorption? A. Higher velocities decrease smoke absorption. B. Higher velocities improve smoke absorption. C. Smoke velocity has no effect on smoke absorption. D. Smoke velocity only affects drying. How does smoke velocity influence smoke absorption? B. Higher velocities improve smoke absorption. What is the effect of airflow on smoke generation? A. It reduces the rate of smoke generation. B. It promotes higher combustion temperatures. 
C. It dilutes the smoke and reduces its temperature. D. It has no effect on smoke generation. What is the effect of airflow on smoke generation? B. It promotes higher combustion temperatures. What is the relationship between smoke density and the rate of smoking? A. Higher smoke density results in a slower rate of smoking. B. Higher smoke density results in a faster rate of smoking. C. Smoke density has no effect on the rate of smoking. D. The relationship between smoke density and the rate of smoking is unknown. What is the relationship between smoke density and the rate of smoking? B. Higher smoke density results in a faster rate of smoking. What are the two types of smoking fish? A. Cold smoking and hot smoking. B. Dry smoking and wet smoking. C. Liquid smoking and electrostatic smoking. D. Low temperature smoking and high temperature smoking. What are the two types of smoking fish? A. Cold smoking and hot smoking. What is the temperature range typically associated with hot smoking? A. 40 to 50 degrees Celsius. B. 60 to 70 degrees Celsius. C. 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. D. 90 to 100 degrees Celsius. What is the temperature range typically associated with hot smoking? C. 70 to 80 degrees Celsius.